Yay, Sanji Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys. I got another Hobby Lobby yarn clearance haul. You know, the dialect clearance. Okay, here's the story this time. You guys are like, I'm sick of your stories, girl. Just get started with the uh, with the yarn, but real quick. What happened is, what happened was, is, I, what, I, what, what did I go looking for this time? Oh, I was just watching, um, Hobby, you know, Hobby Lobby and these clearances, okay? So they had, they were cl finally clearancing off their Tim Holtz stuff. I've seen some girls um, do some haul videos about that. Because usually they clearance the Tim Holtz stuff in either January, February, at the latest March. Well, I'm like, okay, I guess they're just not going to clearance the Tim Holtz stuff. They're doing it now. My store hasn't done it yet, but they're doing it. So I'll have to go back. Um, and also, um, right next to the Tim Holtz is some alcohol inks. I've really gotten into alcohol inks and making papers for my collages and stuff. I have a video on it if you want to check that out below. Anyway, and so I went there to look for the Tim Holtz stuff if it was getting clearanced out yet and those alcohol inks that are right next to the Tim Holtz stuff. And they didn't have it. They, they haven't marked the stuff down yet. But my the manager there, he's the manager of the store. I'm like, you're just the person I was looking for. And so he let, he gave me the down low on everything. I know him. I'm friends with him and stuff. He gave me the down low on everything. He goes, okay, I get my manifest on Thursdays. And my first thing is I have to get all the stuff off the truck and we have to get all that put away. Then whatever the paperwork is for the, for if like if the Tim Holtz is on clearance, like you're saying, because you've seen it on YouTube, then we'll start doing that by next Tuesday. But he said this to me before, which I totally believe. But I've seen them get to the stuff on Friday or Saturday. So I'll be going on Friday. I'll be going on Saturday. And then if they're not, I'll go next week. Because that's the Tim Holtz stuff is worth st uh, stocking the store for. And so is that alcohol ink. I just bought the alcohol ink for $2.99 a bottle. And it's going to be $0.99 cents a bottle. And I just got done saying when I made that video, when I was making the, um, these uh, collage, I call them collage papers, collage and mixed media papers out of alcohol ink. Um, and if you make junk journals or anything like that, or glue books or art journals or anything, or mixed media, you can totally use these papers that I'm showing you how to make. Anyway, I just, in that video, I said, if they clear those out for like a dollar, I'm going to go and clear the house on those. Because two ninety nine a piece and then a dollar, so I'm ex I'm more excited actually about the alcohol ink than I am about the Tim Holtz stuff. But I want it all because besides um, knitting, um, knitting, I am highly, highly into mixed media. So, okay, so let's get started on the yarn. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing now. If I would have got just everything the same as what I've gotten before, I wouldn't do another video. But I found stuff that. Some stuff's the same, but I found some stuff that I haven't um, that I haven't hauled yet. Um, Breathe deep. I I remember I got some sage, but I don't think it was called Breathe Deep. So I think this is a different brand than what I got before. I think it's a different brand than the other sage I got. But isn't that sage color gorgeous? I think that's beautiful. And you guys, it's so soft. It's soft as a baby's butt. The yardage is 216 yards, the color sage, like I've been saying, 216 yards, 100% polyester, U.S. knitting needle size 7, crochet hook size G6, and it's a weight 4. This is not a weight 4. Look at that. It's more like a 3, okay, people? But whatever. So, 2 two, four, six, eight. So it's like a little over 800 yards in here. So that's a good yardage right there. Okay. So I picked up four of those and then I picked up four of these. This is the, uh, sweet delight, chunky baby blue. It's so soft, like a baby's butt by baby B. And you guys, if you see my nail, see my nail, how it looks a little dark. That's when I was playing with the alcohol ink. So don't think my thumb is all dirty. If you see anything like that, it's the alcohol ink I haven't been able to get off my fingers yet. Oh, really quickly, the price on this. So I picked up four of these. Let me show you what the price was. Regular $3.99, got them for 99 cents. That's one of the most important things is how much we pay for this crap. Okay. Um, this was uh, regularly $5.49, got it for $1.24. And like I said, it's Baby B. Sweet Delight. Chunky. 
Now, I love chunky yarns for my boho cardigans. I use a chunky yarn with a size 15 needle and it makes it very drapey and light so they're not heavy, my boho cardigans. And um, I can knit them up fairly quickly and they're nice and warm. Like I don't, the, you're basically you're knitting coats. You don't have to put a coat on. I have probably eight of these things, eight of these boho cardigans and that's all I wear in the winter time. That with put a sweater on, put my boho cardigan, jeans and boots, and I am so nice and warm and cozy. So I picked up one, two, three, five, five of these. And what I thought I wanted to do is I'm really not into this blue color, but I'm into this baby blue if I can mix it with pink. So look how pretty that is together. I mean, I actually prefer a lighter pink with it, like here, like the, the bow on my head. But do a boho cardigan with big... Um, color blocking of this and baby pink and that'd be gorgeous so that's what i wanted to do okay so um the particulars it's called baby blue and i'm going to probably use a baby colored pink too oh this is so soft all that my boho cardigan will be so soft to wear it's 109 yards which is good yardage because a lot of times chunky yarn is only 80 yards or 85 yards so that's good um 80 percent acrylic 20% polyamide, knitting needle size 10, and a crochet hook size 10 and a half. So, and I got one, two, three, four, five of those. And then I'll take, and I usually need 800 yards for a boho cardigan. So this plus then I'll do the other half in pink. So I'll use these five and then four or five of a baby pink, chunky, which I have back behind me on that shelf. So whenever I can get to that. The sage, um, these right here, I'll probably be putting those in a giveaway. And that's also why I've been kind of going crazy on this, um, oh my gosh, just crazy on this, uh, dye lot clearance, because a lot of things I'm going to give away for giveaways, so. Okay. Now, I didn't get anywhere near the amount of yarn that I've been getting, like, you know, three or four bags, but I got that regular size bag and then one more large bag. So not quite as exciting as my other ones have been, but still, it's fun. Oh, we have another one of those, that Breathe Deep and the Sage, so we got another one. So there's six of them. Yes. Okay, let me just take everything out of here. Oh, I got a lot of that. Okay. Um, this breathe deep yarn. I, I I think the rest of it's all breathe deep. Yeah, this one's breathe deep also. So I, it's the same as this here. So I don't need to read the particulars again. I'll show you the ball, ball bands. Regular three ninety nine ninety nine cents, and then this is that breathe deep again, and it's in clay. Isn't that a gorgeous color? It's actually a deeper brown than this. It's looking a little bit brighter than it is. It's more. It's a lot more. It's not so orangey. It's a rusty brown. It's weird how things get blown out in the camera, but I picked up one, two, three, four of those. Love it. And I am loving this, um, although they're saying this is microfiber. Are they saying this is microfiber too? Breathe deep. Oh, this, wait a minute. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay. This one is move, is smooth move microfiber. This one is breathe deep clay. So they don't they look the same, but they're two different yarns. So the breathe deep, I've already told you guys, this is called clay, and I told you guys it's a hundred percent polyester. Is that what I said about this one? 100% polyester, 200 and what yards? 16? Yeah. 
So, but this one is called Burnt Pumpkin Microfiber. It's also Yarn B. But they call it Smooth, Smooth Move? Yeah, Microfiber Burnt Pumpkin. And like I said, it's deeper, it's more rust color. And it's 270 yards, 100% microfiber acrylic, um, US knitting needle size six, crochet hook size H8. So this is kind of cool. I, some, I thought this, and they only had one of these. So, um, but this would be cool. I could totally knit myself up a microfiber cloth. How cool, I've never even thought to do that. So I only have the one, but yeah. I'm totally going to knit myself a microfiber cloth. That's cool. So um, these right here, I think I got, I also got three or four more of these on my last trip. I'll have to get these all together. I was thinking because for the fall, wouldn't this make something beautiful like a shawl or something? Mixing those two together. I would never think to make sage and clay. But look how beautiful. In my opinion, I think they're beautiful together. You know what could look gorgeous with this is another is a purple or wine color. Just all those real pretty fall colors. See, look at that. Now I would think a deeper purple, but this purple looks good too. That's gorgeous. All right, um, I this I just picked up another one, like a single one, because I already have like probably four or five of these. This is a soft and sleek chunky low pill fiber. And I just saw they had one more, so I picked one more up to add to the other ones that I got. And it was regularly, oh, and I don't know if I got told you guys, these were $3.99, got them for $0.99. Cents. Uh, this was $4.99, got it for $1.25. And the color, and it's super soft, I love it. And it's low pill, it's soft and chunky low pill fiber. Um, it's French lilac. 100% low pill acrylic, bulky weight five, uh, knitting needle size 10, crochet hook size K10 and a half. And it's super soft and squishy. I love it, it feels great. And like I said, I'm gonna add this to the ones I got before. I have four or five of them or something. So I found another one. Um, let's go to these. You guys know I love my pink yarn and I think I might have this already. I don't know. but. I picked up four of this. Isn't this gorgeous? This is also Breathe Deep Soft Coral. This is not coral, you guys. This is pink. Um, 99 cents, regularly $3.99. That's the ball band. And let me just see the same particulars. I'm pretty sure it is. They call it Soft Coral. Coral. You guys, that's totally light baby pink. There's nothing coral about this. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, all the same things, 216, 100% polyester. So same same specs. So I did get four of those, and I might have more than this. If it's 216, 2468, that's over 800 yards. That's probably like 850 yards, almost, yeah, probably 850. This will be perfect to make a um, lacy poncho for myself. I'm excited. Okay last set of things I got. I got a lot of these. I'm going to put these in the giveaway. I'm probably going to give almost all this in the giveaway except for that pink. I'm probably going to do this in the giveaway too. Um, and then I'm keeping this because this goes with the rest of the purple. But I have a whole set of purple yarn that I'm going to give away. So I got to go through all the yarn so I know what I'm keeping and what I'm putting in giveaways. Okay, so look at all of these. Awesome. How many did I get here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, is this Breathe Deep? This is Breathe Deep again. Regular $3.99, got it for $0.99. Cents. And I like the color. It's pretty. It's a light, it's a light blue. very pretty and all this yarn is so incredibly soft and this color is called spa look how pretty those two would be together 
Wouldn't that be pretty together? Gorgeous. And this is a lot to, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So six times 200. I mean, you're way over a thousand yards. So you're gonna be able to do something really nice at this. So I'm going to go ahead and give this away also. That'll be in a giveaway. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So like I said, I only ran into this because I was going there to get the Tim Holtz, um, the Tim Holtz, like all the inks and stuff and the sprays. And then I want to get that alcohol ink that's right next to the Tim Holtz stuff. So I'll be going back to look for the Tim Holtz stuff. Hopefully I don't run into any more yarn. Hey, I did good yesterday. I only spent like maybe 20, 25, some, 25 to 30 bucks or something. That's good for me, okay? Because uh, I do damage when I, with these clearances. All right, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I have two Instagrams. One Instagram is from all my mixed media stuff. And my second Instagram is where I put my, um, where I uh, show my uh, different uh, things I make with knitting. And also if I do any planner layouts. I have more knitting on there now than I have planner layouts, I believe. Um, but all my knitting stuff goes on there. Um, we have a group called Our Magical Little Place. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a knitter, a crocheter, a mixed media artist, junk journal, whatever you do, you can come join and come share what you do. Uh, come share your projects. If you have an Etsy, an Etsy shop, a YouTube channel, you make content, you can put links there all you want. If you're having a sale, a clearance, whatever, put it down. Um, Friday mornings. Every Friday morning, 9.30 Pacific, a every Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, I go. I have Angie's yarn party. So knitters and crocheters, fiber enthusiasts, anyone who likes to have a little party and have fun is welcome. So pretty much everyone is welcome. Um, and then I do a yarn giveaway every Friday in that. Okay, then on Sundays, it's Angie's art party. And um, I'm usually doing some type of mixed media. It's for a couple of hours. I do two giveaways in that. Everyone's talking, having a good time. Knit their, people are knitting, crocheting along. They're doing mixed media. They're crafting, doing whatever they do. So that is it. That's it for all my announcements, I believe. Yeah. If not, I'll announce more stuff later. All right. I'll talk to you guys next video.